What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be repainting this Ruby's Mandalorian blaster. This blaster is a pretty good price at about 20 to 30 dollars. It's full size so they didn't shrink it down to like a kid's size or anything, which is really nice because you can just repaint it and you've got yourself like a pretty accurate Mandalorian blaster. By looking at references from the show I can tell that the main colors are black, silver, brown, and gold. The only real change that I'm going to make is this uh, logo or warning label on the side. I'm just gonna take that off real quick with some sandpaper. I'm also just gonna go over the whole thing with sandpaper because as you can tell, it's really glossy and shiny and paint doesn't usually stick to that very well. So now that I've sanded it down quite a bit, uh, as good as possible, I'm just going to give everything a coat of black paint. Any paint should work. This is just regular acrylic paint you can buy at the craft store. So it's not like flexible or anything, like for foam, but this is not a flexible prop since it's made of plastic. So it doesn't really matter what type of paint you use. Okay, so the first layer of black has been applied. As you can tell, there's uh, a lot of white and orange peeking through, so it will need a second coat. Unfortunately, you know, white and orange are like the brightest colors, so they're kind of hard to cover up. It's gonna need a few more coats, but after that, then we'll put brown on the handle, and then silver on the barrel, and then some gold in some areas. It's really good to have references from the show uh, to look at where the paint goes, just so you don't accidentally paint something the wrong color. Okay, so now that we have a few layers of the black paint applied, it's dried really nicely, it's pretty much evenly coated, we can go ahead and apply some brown to the handle. the barrel part silver. It's just this part, so not the tip, but this part in the middle. And I wrapped some tape around the barrel to make sure that this stays black and I get the little trim piece on the inside. some gold to this rod along the side and the trigger and a few other pieces on the build.
going to add some silver dry brushing around the edges to really highlight the details. After I'd finished painting, I added one coat of Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Top Coat. This is a great way to prevent paint chipping on your projects, and it works really well on plastic projects like this one. I just wish there was a better way to use it on foam. So that's it for this build. I had a lot of fun with this simple project. It's a great way to practice your painting skills without having to put too much effort into making the base project. If you guys know of any toy blasters that you'd like to see me repaint, feel free to let me know in the comments. I would certainly be down for doing more of these. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Music